Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is average salary excluding the minimum and maximum salary. So in this question, we are given an array of unique integers called salary where each element inside the salary array represents the salary of that employee. And we need to return the average salary of the employees excluding the minimum and maximum salary. So now let's take a look at this example and see how we are getting the output. So I've taken the same input given to us. So this is the salary array and now we have to find out the minimum and maximum salary from this. So let's declare the two variables minimum and maximum. So initially for minimum we'll assign the maximum possible value that is 2 power 31 minus 1 and we'll initialize the least possible value for max which is minus 2 power 31 minus 1. So these can be found out by integer dot max value and integer dot min value respectively. Now we iterate through the input array from left to right starting from the 0th index till the end of the array. So initially we start from here, i is pointing at 0 and in each iteration we update the minimum and also the maximum. And also we need to find the sum to calculate the average right. So I'm declaring a variable sum which will be initially 0. So in each iteration these three variables will keep on updating until we reach the end of the array. So i is 0 which is pointing at 4000. So we'll update min. So min which was initially 2 power 31 and 4000. Among these both 4000 is less and among minus 2 power 31 and 4000, 4000 is max. And we update sum. So we'll add 4000 to the current sum which is 0. Now go for the next element. i is pointing at index 1. So the element at index 1 is 3000. Check if it is minimum. Yes, 3000 is less than 4000. So we'll update minimum. We'll compare 3000 with 4000. Which one is max? 4000 is max. So this will remain the same. And we update the sum by adding 3000 to the current sum. Now go for the next element. Now is pointing at 1000. Compare 1000 with 3000 which is minimum. So update min. Compare 1000 with current max. Max is greater. So max will remain the same. And add the current element to the sum. So 1000 will be added. And now go for the next element. i is pointing at 2000. Compare 2000 with current min. Min will remain the same because it is 1000. Compare 2000 with current max. Max will remain the same because 4000 is greater than 2000. And now add this 2000 to the sum. And now go for the next element. And now we reach the end of the array so you can end the iteration. And now we have the three updated values min, max and sum. And now to find the average, we have the formula. Average is equal to sum by length, right? But we need to find the average after removing the minimum and maximum. So we get the new sum as current sum is 10,000 and subtract minimum and maximum from that. So this is min and this is max. And now we have to find the new length. Current length of the array is 4. Length is equal to 4, right? Because there are 4 elements. And now we removed minimum and maximum from the length. So we subtract minimum and we subtract maximum. So 4 minus 2 will give you 2. So the new length of the array is 2. So we consider the length 2 to calculate the new average. So 5000 by 2 will give you 2500. So this variable is a double data type. So we return this as the output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input array salary of integer data type. And the return type is double. So we have to return our double variable as the output. Now let's start off by declaring the two variables minimum and maximum. Min variable is initially assigned with the maximum possible value and max variable is initially assigned with the minimum possible value. And now I'm going to declare a variable called sum which is initially zero. So this sum will calculate the sum of all the salaries of the input array. Now let's iterate through the input array salary from left to right starting from the zeroth index till the end of the salary array. And in each iteration I'm going to update the minimum variable and also the maximum variable. So I'm finding the minimum variable by comparing the current minimum with the current element and I'm finding out the maximum by comparing the current maximum with the current element inside the salary array. And inside each iteration I'm also finding out the sum. So this for loop will happen for all the elements inside the salary array and you have your minimum, maximum and sum inside these three variables. Now we have to calculate the average right. So to calculate the average excluding the minimum and maximum salary. So from the total sum, I'm subtracting the minimum salary and also subtracting the maximum salary. So this will give you the sum. And now we are finding out the new length of the array. So current length, that is the length of the input array minus two because you removed the minimum and maximum. So you get the new length of the array. And now you have the numerator and denominator to find out the average. So average is sum by length, right? 
So new sum by new length will give you the average. And this average is a double data type variable, which is the expected return type. Now let's run the code. The test cases are accepted. Let's submit the code. And our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the salary array. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.